What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we are going to be talking about the rewards for NBA 2K22 My Team. Which ones I believe are worth going for, which ones are not, and a lot of it is going to be based on the time take. So, before we get on to it, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We have more My Team content here than anywhere else. And... Yeah, if you guys want to learn about the game mode, this is the best place for that. Especially, especially playing without spending money. Because that's what we do. We have 300k right now. We've built a, a more, we have more than a competitive team. 300,000, plenty of MT, set ourselves up really well for the year. So yeah, anyway. The first player is Kevin Garnett. So, Kevin Garnett is this guy right here. He is the pink diamond re overall reward. So, he is the level 40 card. And to get the level 40 Carmelo Anthony, it took so long. So, on the way to getting Carmelo, you got Darvin Ham, who's actually a beast of a gold. I can't lie, he's a beast of a gold. Um, Larry Nash Jr. is terrible. He's not terrible, Damon Jones. Um, Brian Winters is okay. He shoots pretty well. Vin Baker's not very good. Kelly's all right. So you got some all right players. But after... Re like, Kelly's decent. But, like, realistically, after Kelly, you didn't really get much, did you? Half option badge, kind of. But Kelly to Mello. Genuinely. If you don't spend money on the game, if you have original owner cards and you have infinite MT, Kelly to Mello is doable. But this is at least 125 hours over the course of six weeks. Like, there are 40... How many days in six weeks? There are 44 days. Oh, no. 43. Oh, my God. I can't even think right now. What the hell is 28 plus 14? 42. There are 42 days in season. Um, And to play about 120 hours. You got to play 100... About, 12 hours, or say two hours, three hours a day. Oh my God, Nick, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm struggling. My brain isn't working right now. You have to work about three hours, play about three hours a day of pure XP grinding in order to get Kevin Garnett. So I'm just gonna thumbs down Kevin Garnett. Look, he's gonna be brilliant. If you have the time, if you have the time, if you really enjoy the XP grinding, like I'm gonna get him, it's my job. These cards, these level 40 cards are never worth getting until it gets to the stage where it's like, I can't remember last year. It was it like Luca and Vince and stuff that was like realistically like a 25 hour grind. Like that over the course of six weeks is fine. Like 100 plus hours is too much. It is really too much. So we've got Ja for um, Limited. So let's have a look at what Ja Morant's um, Sigs are. I'm pretty sure he's just right handed. He's just right handed the iron. So Paul George, base, shifty dribble style, which is huge. Kawhi Leonard, which is the profile behind the back. He's got. John Wall up, which is really nice. Paul George base. He's going to get probably have it a normal timing. His three-point is going to be like 80. His speed is going to be like 92, 93. He's going to get half or goal quick for a step. And we're probably looking at like Westbrook with a better release. Realistically, we are looking at Westbrook with a better release. So Westbrook came with six Hall of Fame. I just need to check what Booker came with. Because he has come with at least the same as Booker with four. So he's getting between four and six half badges. A Booker at 22 goals. A Booker is badged up almost as well as Westbrook. So we're looking at at least 92, 93 speed, good lateral quickness. And for limited, for me, limited is my most fun game mode to play. Limited is just a very, very tricky one to say whether to get him or not. It's always a tricky one because the whole thing of my team limited is based on luck. And like, if you're going to be away for a weekend, like, I'm not, a, I may not get him because I'm going away on like the six, the weekend of the 6th of November. I'm actually leaving the country for the first time in two years. I love how it says, why does it say my record is 0 and 25? It's 162 and 35. Why does it say my record is 0 and 25? 2K being 2K, I guess. But the problem with limited is, is that you could play 50 games. Hypothetically, you're not, it's not going to take 50 games. But hypothetical situation, you can play 50 games and not get a ring. And you can play one game and get a ring. I got a ring first. I never got a ring first game. I got a ring first four games in four of the six weeks. One of them took nine games, and the other one took eight games, and then I just screwing about. I didn't choose the ring. I got the ring in the middle and picked one of the other ones on stream. I took another nine games after that, so we took eight and nine games. So, like, it probably takes an average of about four games a week. 
So if you're going to be getting limited, Jaws is going to be better than Booker. Like, Jaws is going to be really, really good. So if you're looking for Ja, he's going to be really good. Now, unlimited. This is the one where I always say they're really not worth it. Like, I'm going to talk a little bit again about this on Friday. I'm going to make a whole other video about these on Friday. But just for prepping, if you're better to know what you're kind of getting into, know what to prep for. This is going to be which I think are going to be worth it anyway. So the thing with Unlimited is that now in Unlimited, you legitimately only have to win. You have 16 games in every single tier. So you have 16 games to get 12. Which means if you can win 75% uh, of your games in the Unlimited tier, you're going to get them. So it's very unlikely. Like if you if you want to get Gary Payton, you can get Gary Payton. Like you may, you're probably not going to get Gary Payton in, say, 53 games. But if you're going to play 70 games over the course of the season, if you play 10 games this a week, you're probably going to get Gary Payton. And Gary Payton's going to be really good. So if we look at Gary Payton right here, Gary Payton's going to gold, if not half clamps. He's going to have at least, like his speed's already 80. Speed's even close to 90. He's going to get the likes of quick first step and stuff. He already has a silver clamps in his terrible card. He has base 40, which is a really, really good release. And he's actually, he already comes with shifty dribble style. Like Payton's going to be one of the best point guys in the game. He's also 6'4", which is decent high for a point guard. For me, he's just going to end up being better. Um, he's just going to be better Wall Frazier. Honestly, he's going to be better Wall Frazier. If you look at tendencies, he's got really good tendos as well, like 98 on ball steal. So like Payton's going to be really good. So like I'm going for Payton. Without question, I'm going for Payton. But if you guys, like most of the time, I would always say, you know what, there's no point ever going for the unlimited reward. There now is. There now really is. But... But, lads, I'm just going to say it is right now. We have found something that might be the most worth it thing to do. Before that, draft for Gervin. It's completely luck-based. Do play the draft if you want. Don't play the draft if you don't. It is what it is. I'm going to probably play one more run for Glenn. I'm going to finish out this run probably tomorrow. Um, I'm currently 2-0. and oh. I'll probably finish... Yeah, I'll probably do it tomorrow night. I'm not going to do it today because, well, 6 p.m., I'm kind of tired, and I just have another a lot of stuff to do, and I have to work tomorrow morning. Thursdays of the day, I actually go and work. So, this here. 99 stars, NBA 75, Dom. So, Amare Stadamar. Amare is really good. Like, Amare is going to be that, like, stretch big that everyone's... He's going to be a 6'10", 7'1", wingspan. Elite dunking, really good speed. His speed's going to be in the 70s. Like if his Sapphire, a speed of 60, his speed's really going to be 75, 80. He's going to have a post game. He's going to basically be like Chris Webber at the ball handle. His lateral is probably going to be 70s. And have a good block rating. Let me look. Let me just compare Amare back in these days. Um, There we go. What was this? did this card look like back then? So like if we look at Amare Stadamar back in 2K20. This is the card that came out in October. 85 speed, 81 three ball. He didn't have the greatest lateral. Like, if we get this card right here, that's an elite. That is a elite, elite player. Obviously, he's going to get way more badges. Like, it's, 20, it's 2K21. It's 22. But he literally had 85 speed. He had an 82 block, 78 steel. Like, we're going to get an upgraded version of this card right here. And he was so nice for his time. Like, Amare is going to be really, really good. And then, the most worth the thing in the game... I think might be these player coaches. So, player coach cards. So, for earning three stars in each game, you will earn a... Okay, so in every game, you get a Ruby player car coach card. So, you get a Ruby player coach card. What are these cards? These are literally just coaches. These are coaches, but the difference is that they're they're just reskinned as players. So you're going to see Robin as a coach. So, honestly, one thing I would advise you guys to do is if you guys have any expensive coaches... And I'm going to do check for that right now. Do I have any? A coach is miscellaneous. So I just need to check Rick Carlisle. Like Rick Carlisle is one of my favorite coaches in the game. Again, he's the coach that I have been using. So I'm going to sell my Rick Carlisle for like 9k. Because every one of these games gets you a Ruby coach. And he's like 4k. So I'm cool with that. Like every one of these literally gets you a Ruby coach. So you're guaranteed you, we are getting 30 root free Ruby coaches. Like if you are playing these games, you get 30 Ruby coaches. Which is huge. So let me just put this card up for something that he sells at a ridiculously fast time for. 66750. You just never know. 
You just never know what is going to uh, happen with these cards. Like, price of coaches might tank after this video. I'm just going to sell these now. So, basically, you we're getting 30 free Ruby coaches. But the whole thing now is, is that if you... Um, for the final three games... So, for beating the 50s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and 20s, you get Bill Russell, Dennis Rodman, and Steph Curry as diamond coaches. So, this is probably going to be... He's going to be defensive. I don't know what Bill Russell is going to be. Bill Russell might be all around. I don't know. And then Steph Curry is going to be perimeter centric. Or maybe seven seconds. Maybe seven seconds. But like diamond coaches get you plus five. And have you guys seen the price of diamond coaches? Have you guys seen the price of some of these guys? They are. It's a joke how expensive some of these guys are. So Monty Williams. Pace and space. 100k. 99k right now. Uh, these coaches are 100k. And I know people that are, have paid 100k. Dude, we are highly... We're getting a free diamond coach worth 100k. Like, a lot of people are like, oh, I would have rather gotten the player. But it's like, outside of maybe Steph Curry, we're already getting diamond Steph Curry in rosters. Diamond Robin and Diamond Bill Russell. Neither of those guys would be worth 100k. But I'm telling you, diamond coaches... Diamond coaches are 100k right now. So, this is going to be the most worth it thing to play. Like, three stars, you get earn a ruby coach card. Like, surely one of these guys is going to be perimeter shooting. And worst case scenario, you get a plus three perimeter shooting coach. That's really, that's still really good. That's still really good. And then until you get Steph. Like, at least one of these 30 Ruby coaches are going to be gods. At least one of these 30 are going to be absolutely insane. So this mode is going to be the most worth it. If, no, if for nothing else, if for nothing else, it'll be worth it for the fact that you're basically getting a coach that's 100 KMT. Not only that, you're getting a coach that looks like Steph Curry on the side. You're getting at least one coach worth 100K. And you're probably getting three or four coaches that are currently worth 10k MT. And these and the whole thing with coaches is that this is one of the first things I would say. This is something I'd suggest for everyone to do. These coaches are going to be good throughout the year. Coaches are genuinely, genuinely going to be good throughout the whole year. Considering the fact they're giving out diamond coaches for these, I reckon Opal coaches or uh, Dark Matter coaches are coming back in the game. Again, doesn't really matter. I don't care if there are plus 10 coaches. A plus 5 coach is more than enough throughout the year. So yeah. This is the most worth it thing, in my opinion. And it's not even like the Amari Stadamar card. Don't get me wrong. It's going to be good. Um, don't get me wrong. Like, Amari's going to be good. He's going to be fine. Did, uh, did Carlos sell? Vogel sold and Carlos sold. Perfect. So, like, this is going to be the most worth it thing in the game. So, of all the things to grind, the things that are going to get you the most, like, short-term success... I think Unlimited is probably the best because you can get that Peyton at your own pace. You can get him early and he's going to be brilliant. I think Kevin Garnett's going to be good. He's going to be good. I think John Morant's going to be really good. I'm going to get him in Unlimited, in limited, but again, you can't get him until the last week of the season. So it's just a little... So John Morant's just a little bit of a... A little bit of a tough one to say because it takes so long to get that card. The draft card is completely luck-based. But for me, Unlimited Domination should be the first things that most people should go for. And then, well, that is just in my prediction anyway. I'll talk a little bit more about it on Friday when everything officially comes out. So anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.